Hello, this is Aaron Turo doing a video demo of Quantcast.com for Dr. Van Scotter's web analytics class. Uh, Quantcast was one of the first web analytics tools that we were uh, introduced to in the class, and it's actually a very interesting one. It has a lot of uh, unique and diverse information uh, for optimize, optimizing sites and showing site performance. Uh, Let's get started here. We have, uh, this is the front page, this is the home page if you type in quantcast.com. Uh, it's, you know, really simple, uh, but except for what we have down here, uh, it's some interesting information uh, that they give. Here we have events measured per minute. Uh, that is the number of updates that are being performed on the site every minute. And as you can see, the number is being updated every second. Uh, that number is going to be different um, every time you check in. Uh, here we have the quantified audience. That's actually the number of websites that Quantcast has information on. Uh, that number, of course, is going to be going up since new websites are popping up every day. Uh, they're going to have more websites to take care of. Uh, the third bit of information is the current U.S. audience size, which is the number of users that are currently on uh, the Internet right now. It's a rough estimate, uh, 223 million, uh, but it's good enough to give you a picture. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, type in a site. We're going to do Hulu.com solely because it's right there to click on in the options. You can click on it right here. Uh, if we didn't know which site we wanted to go to, we can actually click on the top 1 million sites and that lists the top 1 million sites according to Quantcast. Uh, and that's based off of number of visits, uh, number of cookies, number of uh, people, uh, number of page views, and a bunch of different uh, parameters. Or we could also go to the advanced search right here, which we can search through the uh, popularity of the site, the number of page views, the type of the site it is, um, so on and so forth. Uh, but we're just going to click on Hulu.com and that's going to send us to the main information page here. Uh, this is a page, you'll get to this page no matter what site uh, you click on, but it's for the chosen site, even, apparently. Um, so what we have here is two things. We have the Hulu Network. Hulu Network is actually any site that has anything to do with Hulu. If it has a link to Hulu, if it has something embedded from Hulu, uh, if it has a, move, a show from Hulu uh, that's uh, put into the page, this is how many people in the U.S. monthly use the site and globally use the site. Uh, this is actually the actual page, Hulu.com. Uh, this is, which is actually what these numbers are based off of. Uh, this is the average amount of uh, visitors that they get per month uh, in the U.S. and in, around the world. Uh, if we go over here, we can see that it's ranked uh, 32nd in the Quantcast ranking system. Uh, down here, we have uh, just a basic graph, and this is actually a summary page. Uh, you start off and you just get a summary page. Uh, you can get more uh, specified information as you click through it. Uh, but this just gives you a rough estimate, a rough summary of all of the information that you can get. Uh, here we have daily traffic, uh, we have demographics. Um, also, it's uh, color coded, so you can see where they came from. Here, the demographics came from demographics, the daily traffic came from traffic. Uh, here we have audience also likes, which came from lifestyle. Uh, scroll down, we have traffic frequency came from traffic. Uh, business activity comes from business. And we're going to go over all of these individually whenever we go to their specific uh, categories. Like to start off, we'll go to traffic. In traffic, you see we have the same site, uh, the same uh, graph. Uh, to start off, what we can see about the graph is uh, it's shows people per day in the last six months. And we can do people per week, people per month. Uh, the range could be one week, one month, three months, six months, one year, and all, which all is actually uh, 
ranges from about a year and a half to two years. Um, and you can actually set uh, the range uh, manually. You see down there it says daily people from the 10th of July to the 6th of December. Um, we can also change this from people to visits per day, uh, page views per day, cookies per day, page views per person per day, and visits per person per day. Uh, so let's go with page views. We'll switch it to page views. Um, also, we can type in something to compare it to. And uh, you can do as many as you want. It'll actually just keep on adding more to it. Uh, but usually you only want to do about one or two. Um, but to do something a little more diverse, uh, I'm going to type in dailymotion.com and there's the data. Uh, the blue line right here, the blue and purple, you can barely see the purple, but those two are, that's Hulu. Uh, the, this one down here is the United States uh, traffic or page views for the United States in Daily Motion, and this is the global page views for Daily Motion. Daily Motion is a much more popular site um, outside of the U.S., as you can see. And it actually uh, gets more page views globally than Hulu does total. Um, globally, of course. Uh, Hulu, as you can see, is getting better. But, um, as you can see, it's actually some interesting information. Because uh, around here in the U.S., everybody knows Hulu. But uh, Daily Motion is actually more popular around the world. Uh, down here, we can see that uh, the average uh, amount of page views that we have uh, over the span, and then the max, and then whenever that max was achieved. Uh, if we scroll over here, we have uh, some more. These uh, site frequencies, or these frequencies, are the same thing that they had in the summary page. Um, and as you can see, they have, uh, and this is all right here for Hulu.com, not for Daily Motion. Uh, but for Hulu, you can see that they break it down into three categories addicts, regulars, and passerbys. Uh, the addicts are, according to Quantcast.com, people who use the site more than once a day. So people who visit the site more than once a day. That 6% of all unique visits and 59% of total visits. Uh, so apparently they have a small set of incredibly loyal uh, users. Uh, the next one is regulars. Regulars are people who go to the site anywhere between 30 to one time per month, and that's 34% of the visits. And passerbys are people who go there less than one time a month. And that's 48% of users and that counts for 7% of the visits. Uh, here we have network frequency. It's the same thing as we had before. Um, the network is anything that has to do with Hulu. Uh, if we scroll down they actually give us the same thing as above for Daily Motion. This is dailymotion.com and they have a higher percentage of passerbys and a lower percentage of addicts. Uh, so a lot of what they're getting are regular people who go anywhere between once a day to once a month. And that's a lot of their traffic. Uh, we scroll over here. This information is uh, more about Hulu and it shows pretty much the same information that they had in the graph just in a chart form. Uh, here we have people per month highlighted. Uh, we have we can go to cookies per month, visits per month, page views per month, and so on and so forth. And it gives the U.S. and global stats for that. Down here we have uh, compared to prior periods. So um, it just shows daily the numbers have actually gone down uh, since yesterday, uh, but page views have gone up. So apparently, uh, less people are getting here, but they have a 5% more 